Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul from Paul's Carts. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I've already showed you guys this cylinder head here. Um, while I'm waiting on the boring bar to cool down a little bit, been boring all day, and I had this head here, I was just lapping in the valves, just kind of killing time, waiting for the boring bar to kill, uh, cool down. I want to show you guys the port. Now, I've showed you guys the port, uh, I believe a few months ago. It's, I don't really show the ports that often. Um, I'm going to show you guys the ports on this, and there's probably a video up on YouTube. Um, I did a cylinder head the last time I video, I believe it was for like a, a 72 millimeter bore stroke, like a 236. <clears throat> um, this one's for a three inch bore. This would be optimized setup for a three inch stroker. Um, this is pretty much has every option you'd have, want to have so you could take your three inch stroker all the way. Um, we've set this one up where it's at 14 to 1 compression ratio. Um, seems to be where methanol likes to shine in these. Um, so we started with a 14cc chamber. Um, in order to get that down to the 14 to 1, we radius untrotted a little bit wider. And we brought this out to the edge of the, the gasket surface, like we always do, like I always do. Um, that way, when the air comes out, it could just ride right down the inside of the sleeve. This sleeve is a little bit bigger. This is for a different build. This is for an 80 millimeter. But you would line this up with the edge of the gasket so when the air comes out, it rides right down the inside of the sleeve. There's no like weird transition where it'll like bump over and then go down. Uh, making sure these are brought out to the edge of the gasket surface is a good way to get some power out of your engine. Helps the air to fill deep down into the cylinder. <clears throat> So a couple options that this cylinder head has is uh, that that makes it for the three inch stroker is the port size. You know, you have to uh, port them, you know, in the Goldilocks zone, as I call it. Uh, not too much, not too little. You want to be right at that perfect amount. So that way you're balancing uh, the highest amount of velocity. Um, if the port's too big, the engine will make the same amount of horsepower. It'll just take... Uh, longer to get to its peak power and peak torque. The, you know, the, the peak torque will be uh, lower when the, the if you're actually just going after like a crazy horsepower number. So we figure out the engine's bottom end CFM requirement, which is pretty simple. Um, once you know it's CFM requirement, that's what we port the cylinder head to. So this one's been ported to a three inch stroker. Um, this one also has the max porting option, which is kind of necessary to get the three inch stroker to have enough air. Um, another thing that this key option, this is head has is the welded intake tube and the O-ring. The O-ring is great for sealing them up. Uh, depending on what cam you're using, if you're using the PKR PM3 cam, that cam builds a ton of cylinder pressure. That's why it makes so much power. Um, it's a real people's favorite. It's the best cam I could find. That's why I put my name on it and put it in the box. If I could find a better cam than that, I would put that cam in the box. But to this day, it stands as the winner. Um, we do do a lot of cam testing. So uh, that cam is the best cam. I would recommend that for most builds. If, in fact, you can't bottle it up with a PK RPM 3 cam, if you don't have a head O-ring and you're just blowing out head gaskets, then I would suggest the Gorilla Cam. We would just change peak torque um, we, we just brought down this peak cylinder pressure at peak torque by moving it up in the RPM range. So the Gorilla Cam actually makes a little bit more RPM, a little bit higher uh, peak torque, a little bit higher horsepower with that cam. But this, the PK RPM 3 cam for 99% of builds, if you could bottle it up, it's going to make the most amount of power. So uh, I'll give you guys a look at the, the some of the options. First of all, 14cc chamber, unshrouded to the edge of the gasket and then milled to the point where we get the compression ratio we want. So in this particular setup, we didn't have to mill off much. We just basically did the untrowed and we're at 14 to one. Um, it says the uh, Paul's Carts Custom Browns Guide, spring pockets cut. As you can see, the solid slug max porting is done. It's welded in, milled off, so it's perfectly flat. You don't have an oil passage, um, but what you would wanna do is just run your vent hoses and you also have, um, you know, a, a lot of oil comes up through your push rods and stuff like that. So there's no real oiling problems with these. You just run a vent tube from the block to the head and you're going to get all the oil in you need. Um, a lot of the three inch gaskets don't even have an oil hole. <clears throat> so here's a look at the exhaust port. Exhaust ports are very, very straightforward. Um, 
basically you don't really have any flow problems with exhaust you just don't want a restriction you don't have to worry about anything with exhaust all you want to do is just kind of radius this a little bit you don't want to take anything down with the short turn just radius that in make sure this back corner has a little bit of a curve in it you have such high velocity leaving the port that it's not an issue you just want to let it out on the intake side again 3228 i don't know if i mentioned that this is a 3228 valve setup multi-angle valve job as you can see these already have been lapped in you can see the lap line on the valve um, i just lapped them in to make sure they had 100 percent seat seal leaking valves big problem you don't want your valves to be leaking so make sure you you uh lap your valves good vacuum test them if you have a vacuum tester if not just put your lips on the port and suck on it and you'll feel this like if you're sucking on like a glass soda bottle where it's just like you know like you feel like zero leak like your lips are getting sucked in that's how you know your valves are sealed here's the intake port so as you can see that's huge now this is why you need the max porting and the welded intake tube on the three inch stroker um i mean you can just see how big this is i mean on like a stock head hold on so here's a stock head here i mean you, my finger gets stuck at this top knuckle here. I mean, I do kind of have big meaty fingers, but that port is very tiny. <laughs> you see my fingers like wedged in there by the guy. That, ow, almost cut me a little bit there. Ow. Um, yeah, they're pretty sharp, uh, pretty unruly. Everything is very sharp on these. So you kind of want to knock all that down. And there's a stock port, they're very tiny. So here's a port for a three inch stroker. Um, I can get my thumb in there all the way and wiggle it around i mean it's kind of hard to do with this camera but you know my thumb is all the way in there and as you can see how big my thumb is compared to my index finger you know it's a ginormous difference i can get my thumb in there and wiggle it, it did cut me i knew it cut me um but this also has the epoxy port so straight walls huge doodle you definitely want to have straight walls <clears throat> you want to have a radius in the back back here you want to have bias porting well this wall is going to be way far to your left it almost is under the seat and then it comes up and it swooshes in and if you can see this is also biased so what that bias does is create the circular flow that's going to help to distribute it because you're not just coming straight up out you have a valve sitting here in the way so you kind of need the air to start pushing itself sideways. So you, you really can't, you aren't trying to get the air to come straight up. You're trying to get the air to come this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. So that bias is really going to start in the port and it's going to start that swirl where it's just pushing the air out. So there's another look at the port. A monster. Um, cross section in here is 27 millimeter which is ginormous for one of these <clears throat> so you know there's the exhaust valve going right down in there and that that's a 28 exhaust valve will go right down in there right in through <laughs> that's a 3228 valve that just literally slid down the port <laughs> that's working crazy right so i mean you know it's it, it's really a big port that we're like you can literally just slide an exhaust valve down through there i don't think the camera really does it justice but that is so i thought it was 27 it must be a little bit bigger maybe it's a it's probably a 27 cross-sectional there but it's a little bit wider than it is tall so it's probably 29 across 26 tall but it's a 27 uh, area, epoxy port. Now this guy's running M5. Um, so the epoxy not only allows us to shape that back corner back there and allow that uh, radius back corner. We also build up a little bit right here on this left hand side, right in that corner we build up and then back in there. And, uh, and then we apply the texture and uh, the texture actually really helps keep fuel atomized especially with methanol it's a very heavy fuel very cold fuel the cold fuel is going to bring you a ton of power uh, 
um, just really cools the air down. Nothing really makes more power than cold fuel. So anyhow, this is just a look at uh, one of my cylinder heads that I've done for a three inch stroker, 266 cc. Uh, hope you guys like this in-depth view of it. Some of the options, you know, again, multi-angle uh, seat cuts, the bronze guides, big valves, um, big seats, non-intersecting seats, radius cut chamber, uh, milled O-rings, welded intake tube, epoxy port, custom guide, spring pockets cut, polish this, polish that. And I mean, these, this polishing is next level polishing. I mean, it's pretty shiny in there. So I hope you guys like this stuff. Also max ported. Um, I hope you guys like this stuff. If you guys need anything, you guys want the best of the best. Um, we got 80 millimeter blocks and look at that sleeve. Look at the thickness of that sleeve. That is like a pipe. It's like bigger than a pipe in your basement. That's the sleeve that's going to go in this block here. This is for another guy, another build. And, uh, yeah, this is, my name is Paul. I own Paul's Carts. If you guys need anything, you can check our website out at paulscarts.com or text me directly at 781-492-7358. I'm over here just doing what I love. I appreciate every customer. I try to give the best customer service and try to get these things out as fast as possible. So uh, you guys need anything, you know where to find me. And until next time, guys, have a nice day. Stay fast out there, guys. So cool.